We don't do a lot of them here. We do a small number, but it's not because um, we don't have the patients. It's nationally, the number of pancreas transplants has declined over time. And really it's, it's a two or three prong phenomenon. One, the quality of organs has declined over time. We get more fatty pancreases now, and those aren't suitable for transplant. Um, but the primary reason we're not doing as many pancreas transplants uh, around the country uh, as we used to is the advent of insulin pumps. You know, people refer to that as a mechanical pancreas, um, but the new insulin pumps and the new technology behind them and the ability to regulate blood sugars has gotten much, much better. Uh, so much so that fewer people are actually being referred for combined uh, kidney pancreas transplant. It's good news because that technology has improved so dramatically that we're seeing less um, sometimes end-stage renal disease and I think that technology will continue to improve so you should see in the future fewer sequelae of, of diabetes such as coronary artery disease and heart attacks and strokes, that sort of thing, as blood sugars at an early age will become much better regulated.